Two children are now listed among the victims identified in the Florida condo building collapse. The authorities say the girls 10 and 4 years of age were both recovered in the rubble yesterday. Victims, families and first responders are expected to meet with the president later today as those rescue efforts continue. ABC's Faith Abube has the latest. This morning, the threat of severe weather looming large over the search and rescue effort at the site of the collapsed Florida condo building. Forecasters watching the direction of a storm system expected to become Tropical Storm Elsa. It could dampen efforts to find victims in the rubble. The inclement weather affects you know, the job that we're doing. You know, it just compounds and makes it more difficult. As crews make contingency plans, new chilling video surfacing, showing the building's parking garage just moments before last Thursday's collapse. This is the same area where a 2018 report cited major structural damage to the concrete below the pool deck, including failed waterproofing. You can see in the video water gushing down from what appears to be a pipe in the garage ceiling and debris on the floor. About seven minutes later, the building crashing down. Raisa Rodriguez leaving a voice message for her brother as she ran for her life. Among the victims who did not make it, a woman trapped in the debris, begging first responders for help. A firefighter telling ABC News affiliate WPLG, a dumpster, metal rebar, and a wall of concrete prevented rescue workers from reaching her. A feeling of not only defeat, but it's a, it's a feeling of loss. We are human after all. We're not robots. We're not machines. We feel it. Officials also devastated by news of the first children to be pulled from the rubble. It is also with great sorrow, real pain, that I have to share with you that two of these were children aged 4 and 10. In the meantime, there'll be another investigation into this collapse. The federal agency, which investigated the collapse of the World Trade Center towers after 9-11, will now launch its own investigation, calling it a fact-finding investigation, not a fault-finding mission. In Miami Beach, Faith Abube, ABC News. And today, President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden will visit the site of that collapse in Surfside, Florida. The White House said they wanted to thank the search and rescue teams for their tireless round-the-clock work. The President and First Lady also slated to meet with the families of the victims, along with state and local officials.